Hey, good afternoon. John Clements here, your uh, friendly IFTA board member. But not for much longer. I've done it for nine years and I'm going to be done uh, this winter. So uh, hopefully we'll have to find somebody else to take my place. I'm, I'm sure we'll, we'll have a successful candidate for uh, my replacement sometime in the near future. Anyways, uh, today's September 1st. It's a beautiful day here. Finally, we've got some crisp dry air, some cooler weather. Here in Massachusetts, it's been a very hot summer. It's been a very dry summer for a lot of growers. We're in a moderate drought, moderate to severe drought. The farther east you go, uh, it's drier than it is here. Fortunately, here at the UMass Orchard in Belchertown, uh, we've had a couple of downpours. As a matter of fact, last week we got almost two inches of rain in a downpour, so it's not as bad here. Anyways, I was asked to give a quick crop update here in New England. Uh, you can see you got some nice crop of Ruby Max, but it's hit or miss. If we went to a Honeycrisp block here in the orchard, we'd see not too many Honeycrisp. Overall, throughout New England, the crop is probably down about 10% from our average. Um, we had a heavy crop last year, so I think we're seeing some of that effect. Uh, the drought is definitely where there is no irrigation is going to uh, affect apple size. I've already heard where peaches did not have irrigation. They were small. Um, it's been a hot summer. I don't think it's the be been the best apple growing summer in the world for various reasons. Um, you know, I don't think Mac type apples like real hot weather. I don't think Honeycrisp likes it that hot either. So I'm, I'm, I, I'm afraid we'll have some quality issues going into storage, etc. So fortunately, it's not a real big crop to have to move. The biggest complaint I've heard is smaller apples in non-irrigated orchards. I haven't really traveled throughout the rest of New England, so I, I, it might be a little better up north. I hear Maine has a good crop. Uh, perhaps out in Connecticut, Rhode Island is a little bit light, as is New Hampshire. So uh, that's my crop update. I hope we get some cool weather. As you can see, these Ruby Max color up really nicely. I don't think they're ready for harvest yet. Um, but probably next week or so, actually, a couple rows over there have been picked. Um, so let me think. Um, like I said, I'll be getting off the board. I, You know, this, this growing season can't get over fast enough for me. I never thought I'd look forward to the winter. I am kind of looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to going to IFTA in Grand Rapids in February. The Education Committee had a meeting today, a program meeting for that, uh, and the Michigan folks are really putting together a nice program, so we hope to see you there. And I assume it'll be here before we know it, although the first part of winter is often a drag. Anyways, I was also asked to tell you why I got into this business or what I like about it. It was completely happenstance. I needed a job, frankly. Um, I was primarily a, a, in research. I started out as a research technician at the University of Vermont. My uh, boss there also worked in extension, so I got some extension experience. Went to Michigan State University for a couple of years, worked in extension, because I was in the retail business uh, before I started in this, this sector. Um, uh, so customer service has always been a strong point of mine. I think it works well in extension. Uh, my family didn't want to come back to New England, so we came back to New England. I've been here at UMass for 22 years as an extension educator. Never taken a course, never taken a course in education. Um, but anyways, here I am teaching growers supposedly how to grow. However, you know what? It really is the growers I work with. Some of them, a lot of them I consider friends. I don't know how they feel about me. But I consider them friends, and that's the highlight of my job, is working with those growers. I learn so much from them. A lot of give and take. It's interesting to see how they run their businesses. Some are just really great business people, and I just don't know how they do it. So anyways, as I look forward to maybe retiring in a few years, I will miss that. Not sure I, I miss the, the other stuff that comes with the job that much, but uh, you know, it gets to the point where you've done it for a long time, and it, it's time to make a change. But I will miss the growers. I hope we remain friends with some of them. So that's my story, Bethany. I hope you like it. Uh, you can use it as you see fit. And again, I uh, hope everybody has a great harvest out there. I've gone probably longer than I should. Take care, everybody.